buckle your safety belts because we're about to cause some major damage to some very expensive cars in one of the weirdest driving game modes you've ever seen and it also involves one of these. Depending on your age, it could be entirely feasible that you've never seen one of these before. This is the Super Nintendo Super Scope, Nintendo's gigantic take on the old fashioned light gun technology. You lift this plastic beast up on your shoulder, aim at your target on the old CRT television, press the trigger and unleash hell on whatever it is you're aiming at. And almost every games console in existence has some variation of the light gun, and all of them were barely supported with games to use it with and the Super Scope is of course no exception. But with this SNES peripheral, developers went a lot further in regards to supporting the Super Scope, sometimes adding functionality in games that had no business having light gun features. If you've been paying attention to Puckhoof Gaming, Lamborghini American Challenge is a SNES game that you should be familiar with from a previous video, where I showed off the SNES mouse functionality. In that mode, you'd be able to use the console's mouse peripheral to control your expensive supercar, and somehow it sort of works. Not content with adding support for strange peripherals, the developers at Titus Interactive decided to go even further by adding Super Scope support. But this is a car game, I hear you cry. How can a light gun work with a racing game? Well, dear viewer, this feature works in the most obvious yet strange way possible. If you boot up the game with the Super Scope peripheral plugged in, you'll be asked to test your Super Scope's aim, and then be brought to a new menu where you can play as player one, team up with the computer, or team up with another human player. Essentially, one player or the computer can drive the car as normal, while the person wielding the Super Scope can actually shoot at the other cars on the road, eliminating them from the race. It's like Road Rush, but turned up to 11. This added mode is highly ridiculous, but quite a lot of fun if you already own this game. It's far from a selling point, but you have to commend Titus for attempting to do something a little bit different while also giving you another game to use your SNES Super Scope with. I hope you enjoyed experiencing one of the weirdest light gun experiences I've probably ever seen. But rest assured this will not be the last time you see this Super Scope on this YouTube channel. So if you love this look at this behemoth of a bazooka, why not subscribe to Pugcoof Gaming to be kept in the loop of all of my future videos. Thanks for taking the time to watch this particular video and I hope I'll see you soon for some more gaming goodness.